Are you thinking about moving to Oceanside, California? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, through Oceanside, California, and I'm gonna take you guys through some different neighborhoods. I'm gonna show you some different houses and different price points, so you may know what may fall within your budget. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm gonna share with you guys a market report of the current real estate market in Oceanside, California. So let's get to it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing in Oceanside, California, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notification so you can be the first to know about the current market in Oceanside, California. Hi, my name is Jonathan Hernandez. My team and I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Oceanside, California. So whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we would love to help you make that smooth move to Oceanside, California. So you guys, I'm here right now on the Oceanside Pier. I'm walking the Oceanside Pier. You guys can see the big buildings behind me, all the nice little hotels and apartments back there. So interestingly enough, I used to live in Oceanside in 2015 for some time. Since then, since those seven years, a lot has changed. They have built a tremendous amount of buildings, shopping centers, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So Oceanside does have a lot to offer. Oceanside, California, it's, it's a very Northwest town of San Diego County. And so again, they got a lot of cool features going on. Um, you're right next to Carlsbad, California, Vista, San Marcos. Uh, you're also hugging a big military installation, uh, what is uh, the Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. So it's a big Marine base. So if you're a Marine, Simple Fidelis to you. If you're a uh, Navy sailor, uh, thank you for your service and, and Army, Space Force, and uh, Air Force as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all everything that you guys do. At any rate, <laughs> all those buildings that you guys just saw behind me, none of those buildings were here five years ago. So they're rapidly expanding and growing. Yes, uh, this is one of the more affordable beach cities in California, but it has so much to offer. You guys, they have their own harbor here, the Oceanside Harbor. I got a couple buddies that have boats out there. They got a lot of cool things going on, a bunch of breweries. So if you guys like to drink, this is a spot for you. I'm not like, hey, pushing, you know, hey, yeah, go drinkers. But what I'm saying is if you guys like a good beer, um, this is a good place to be. They have a ton of restaurants, a ton of breweries, a lot of fun stuff. They have a bunch of parks, trails, and of course, you guys, they have the beach. <laughs> so you can see the ocean right behind me. Uh, it's probably why they named the city Oceanside, uh, because it's right side next to the ocean. So that's pretty neat. But uh, it's a really beautiful little small community, small beach town. Again, there is a lot of military here. I see it as a good thing because you just feel like you're more protected. And there is a lot of stuff going on, like I mentioned. Now, you guys, the schools here, I will say they're not the, the best of the best. However, they're still okay. They're, they're average type of schools here in the state of California. So the public school system here, it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie and say they're top A schools because they're not, but they're still graded, you know, a low B or high B, and depending on the type of neighborhood, just like any other small town, right? Or any, I'm sorry, any suburb. But again, a lot of cool features here. We got so many things going on here. Um, as I was walking, I had so many people say hi to me and trying to be in the video. And so that just kind of shows the people here. They're very laid back environment, very, uh, I like to say broski, <laughs> but that's kind of just any beach town I feel like. But the vibe here is amazing. I can smell the ocean. I can smell the sea salt. It smells so great. So a lot of cool things here. What I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna take you guys through some different neighborhoods, like I said. I'm gonna show you guys some different houses in different price points. So I'm gonna show you guys a house around 600, 650, and I'm gonna show you guys a house at 900. And I'm even gonna show you guys what a $1.1 million home looks like in Oceanside, California. And I'm gonna take you guys inside that $1.1 million house. So let's get after it right now. All right guys, so here we are. We are at the first property right behind me. So this home right now is listed for sale for $650,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath that has 1,006 square feet. So that puts the price per square foot right at 646 a square foot. So this neighborhood was built in the 1980s. This house was actually built in 1986. 
being a 1980s, it's not too shabby. You guys look right behind me. I mean, the street is really clean. The houses are nicely, freshly painted. The landscaping is really kept up. So this neighborhood for being, you know, in the 1980s is still very well kept up. Now, location of this area is really, really great for the fact that you're next to all the supermarkets, the Target, you're next to Walmart, you guys are next to some gyms, the gas stations, banks, you know, etc. You're not too far from downtown Oceanside. You're about seven miles from the beach, which you can still feel the ocean breeze. Like I stated earlier, you guys can feel the ocean breeze up to 10 miles when you guys are living at a ocean, uh, an ocean city or a beach city or however you want to call it. I am on the trail of this little community here. It's a really little neat trail. They have walking trails everywhere. They have parks all nearby. So they have a lot of cool little knickknacks, you guys. Now the schools here, like I stated earlier, they're not top rated, A graded schools, um, but they're not, you know, horrible bad schools either. So the elementary school here, you guys, is rated a five out of 10, while the middle school is rated a six out of 10 while the high school is rated a five out of 10. So I hope you guys really understand what $650,000 can get you in Oceanside, California. All right guys, so here we are. We're at the second property of the day. So this house right behind me is listed for sale for $900,000. It is a four bedroom, three bath. It has 1,862 square feet. So that puts a price per square foot, uh, roughly around four, 480 a square foot. And so, some little cool features. I'm not too sure if you guys can see it right behind me, but you have the elementary school and I can actually hear the kids playing right now. I guess they're on their, their little recess break. Um, however, this, this house here right behind me that I just showed you guys was built in 1981. So yes, this community is a little bit older compared to the last community. Location wise, we are now in the south side of Oceanside uh, versus we were at the north side previously. So we're in the area that's called the Tri-City area. So they call it the Tri-City area because it borders Vista, California, San Marcos, California, and Oceanside, California, all in this little Tri-City area. So we have three different little cities or suburbs um, right right here within like a three mile radius. But the location of this area is top notch. Just like the last location, you guys, you got all the supermarkets, you got the Target, you got the Carlsbad Mall, you got some gyms, bookstores, restaurants, a lot of good places to eat. They have some really great Mexican food here, like really good, like really, really good. Uh, wow, man, I'm just thinking about it. It's making me really hungry, you guys. At any rate, <laughs> the, the schools here, you guys, the elementary school that we just saw down the street, it's a, rated a five out of 10, while the middle school is rated a five out of 10. And we have the high school here rated a seven out of 10. So I hope you guys now understand what $900,000 can get you in Oceanside, California. So let's go on to the third property. Hey guys, so here we are. We are at the third property of the day. Right behind me, this house just sold for $1.1 million. It's a five bedroom, three baths. Uh, it has 3,016 square feet. So that puts a price per square foot right around the 380, 360, uh, 360 to 380 range. Now, if you guys can pay attention behind me, you guys look at the attention to detail. I mean, like the landscaping here is a lot better. The street is a lot cleaner. The sidewalks is definitely newly paved. So this community here was actually built in uh, the mid 2000s, uh, 2005, 2006 timeframe. So this house was actually built in 06, which is pretty cool. So it's, it is fairly, fairly new, newer. Um, compared to the first two homes that we saw that were built in the 80s. But you guys, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you guys inside the house like I promised you guys I would, and then I'm gonna give you go over the school's location, and so let's get to it. All right guys, so here we are. We made it inside uh, the $1.1 million home. Uh, so you guys can just kind of look around right behind me, but the location here, um, phenomenal. The schools are a, lot, a little bit better than the first two homes. So the elementary school here is rated an eight out of 10, while the middle school is rated a seven out of 10 and the high school being another eight out of 10. So the schools did get a little bit better as we increased in price, right? I hope that that would reflect, but also the location, it is a little cleaner out here. Um, I will say that we are on the north side of Oceanside. We're like hugging Camp Pendleton and so, out here, the homes are a little bit higher, higher end, um, nicely capped, very clean up, up here. 
but nearby here, similar to the first one, you're close to some supermarkets, you're close to Target, you're close to Walmart, all that's within about a seven minute drive from you, from this location here. And so you're not too far from everything. I mean, if you guys were only about eight to nine miles from the actual beach, I'm still feeling that ocean breeze. And so that's pretty cool. So if you guys wanted to go to the beach on any given day, you know, you can drive there. It's probably gonna take you 10 to 15 minutes. You can bike there, probably take 45 minutes. You guys are runners and wanna run nine miles, you know, however fast it takes you guys, that's how long it'll take. But anyways, so here we are, I'm outside right now. You guys check out this backyard and I'll show you guys the view. So look at this nice green grass. They got a cool little fire pit out here. Uh, look at this backyard. They have some amazing views. They got that little park right there. Right, so that's pretty neat. Some cool features to have. At least you guys get a view at a $1.1 million house here in Oceanside. But pretty much that sums everything up with all three homes. So I hope you guys really understand what you guys can get in Oceanside, California for 650, for 900,000, and for 1.1 million. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, I'm gonna take you guys to a local coffee shop or brewery shop. Um, it just depends on what's available and what's not packed. And we're gonna do a market recap of the current real estate market here in Oceanside, California. So let's get to it. All right, guys, market recap here of Oceanside, California. So right now I'm at a local coffee shop. I'm having my drink. I'm almost done with it because it's that good and it's really strong. I'm actually getting the jitters uh, finishing this drink. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough of the different neighborhoods and the different houses in Oceanside. And I hope you guys really understand what may fall within your budget from the 650000 to the 900000 to the $1.1 million. So, you know, differences from 650, 900 to 1.1 million. The education here, again, it's average. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in Oceanside. About seven years ago when I lived here, none of the stuff downtown was really there. So all those new resorts and hotels, all that stuff is fairly new. So it's really cool. The public transportation system out here is really top notch. Uh, the, the population here is north of 175,000 people in Oceanside. Again, they have a big major military installation nearby. Literally, it's on the shoulder of Oceanside, which is that Marine Corps base that I was speaking about. So the population here, it's, it's really grew within the past 10 years, the past 20 years, and, and if I'm being really honest, but so much going on, like I said, the marina. So if you guys have a boat, you guys can get a permit. You got the Oceanside Har uh, Pier. You guys can walk the harbor, go down to downtown Oceanside, catch a movie, maybe go bouldering. They got vital, uh, vital climbing. There's a gym, it's vital climbing. It's really cool. You can go bouldering there. It's such a workout, but it's a neat place. Again, a bunch of breweries, so if you guys like to drink and you like to have some good, good beer and some really good food, uh, downtown Oceanside has it. And so a lot of stuff going on. Again, there's a golf course here. You got Carlsbad Mall that has a Dave & Buster's, a good Brazilian steakhouse, and other little knickknacks in there. So whatever a regular mall has, it has that plus some. And so I love the location of Oceanside, and a lot of people do as well because you're really bordering Orange County. You can be in Disneyland in 45 minutes. You can be in downtown LA in an hour 20. You can go to Universal Studios or Six Flags or City Walk or um, I don't know, Venice Beach or Santa Monica Beach. You guys, so many different things going on here. Or you can go to downtown San Diego, which is another 40 minute drive, you know, give or take, depending on traffic. but. The public transportation here, it is awesome. They do have a train station. They have a bunch of buses. So I believe it's a Sprinter. Um, I used to take it to LA all the time. It's such a blast. It takes like three hours. It's like 15 bucks. And you just get a ride the whole coast of Orange County all the way up to LA. It's so beautiful. So if you guys ever, if you like to travel, you ever want to take a trip, I recommend taking that trip from Oceanside to LA. It's really cool, really neat, and some awesome, awesome views. But just to wrap everything up, you guys, the schools here, again, they're mediocre. They're, they're not top-notch, but they're not, hey, below average. They're just mediocre schools here. Again, you can 
get into different neighborhoods that have a little bit better schools, a little bit more of better education, but you do have some colleges nearby. You have San Marcos and there's Miracosta College in Oceanside, which is pretty cool. Uh, off here off Oceanside Boulevard, if you guys ever look at a purchase car, a bunch of car dealerships uh, that they sell here to the military and other people here, obviously. But I hope this was useful and helpful to you guys. If you have any qu questions, you guys comment down below. Again, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email and we would love to help you make that smooth move to Oceanside, California.